So one way in which we know that this country is in trouble and this country is in decline is to compare where we are today and how much the government does today and what the government does today, kind of the scope and the, 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 the level of involvement the government has to, in our lives today with the vision of what America was supposed to be, the founding father's vision of what America is. And, and what is it? What is it that makes America? What is it that makes America the greatest country in human history? What is it that makes America? Ayn Rand called it the only moral country, the only country founded on a morality in human history. What was that morality? What, what is that essential core of, of the founder's vision for the United States of America? And I think, I think it's important to understand this because I don't think people get it. I don't think people, I don't think people know. I, 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 our kids don't know any American history. They have no understanding of the core foundational principles on which this country was founded. And if we don't educate our kids, if our kids don't know that, and by the way, I don't think you parents know it either, really, then, because I don't think it's been taught for generations, then how are we going to save this country? We, we don't know what to save it from, and we don't know what to save it to. We don't, we don't have a vision for what, I'm, what is possible for America. You know, and it's, it, you can say, make America great again, and you can put it on T-shirts, and you can put it on hats, and you can trot around and, 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 and yell it and yell it and, and pretend that you know what it means. But President Trump has no clue what makes America great. Donald Trump has no clue what made America great. And unfortunately, most of his supporters, I don't think, know what made America great. And therefore... They don't know what to do, how to, how to bring it back again, how to bring that greatness, that essential greatness back. So what is it? What is it that made America great? What did the founders, what kind of country did the founders create? What, what, what were they trying to achieve? Well, you have to go, I believe, back to the Declaration of Independence to really understand it. Not so much the Constitution. Constitution, you cannot understand without really understanding the Declaration of Independence. Because the Declaration of Independence is the short, succinct document that presents the essentials of the political philosophy, the vision, the ideal that the Founding Fathers held. It was a document written to frame why independence, why a war for independence was necessary, was needed. And what is the key idea of the Declaration of Independence? The key idea of the Declaration of Independence, the thing that made America the greatest country in human history, the thing that makes America in its founding the only moral country really to be established in human history, fully moral, is this idea that the purpose of government is to protect individual rights. It is the first country to recognize in its founding documents the idea that every individual Every individual has rights, the right to his own life. What does that mean? What does that mean to say you have a right to your own life? It means you have a right to live your life as you see fit, pursuing the values you believe are necessary for your survival and thriving. It means that you have a right to use your mind to figure out what you need in order to thrive, what you need in order to be a good human being, what you need in order to succeed in life. Nobody has a right. Nobody has a right to interfere. Nobody has a right to tell you no and to force you to behave differently than the way you'd want to behave. Nobody has a right to interfere with your pursuit of your values, whether they like your values or they don't like your values, whether they agree with you or don't agree with you. As long as as you are not hurting other people, as long as you are not violating their rights by using physical force against them or committing fraud against them, it's none of anybody's business what you do. But the essential here is not that negative sense. The essential here is a positive. The essential here is that there are certain rational values that human beings need to pursue in order to be successful in their own life, in order to live a good life, in order to survive and thrive. And that individual human beings must be free in order to be able to pursue those values. You must be free 
in order to be able to succeed in life. And that is what individual rights are trying to protect. They're trying to protect that freedom of action, that freedom of choice to choose your values and act on those values and leave your, and the whole idea is the government then and your neighbors must leave you alone to do that. So you have a right to your own life. You have a right to live it as you see fit, not to be told what business you can start and what not, what you need a license for, and what you not, what you can say and what you can't say. What, how much to pay your employees, how much not to pay your employees, you know, and what to think and what not to think and what ideas to hold and what not idea, what ideas to reject. All of that, this country was founded on the idea that you should be free to pursue.